Hello everybody and welcome back to, well, something a bit different. This is, as you can see, Revelations. It has finally made its way to Repentance. This was a huge mod that came out before Repentance and Afterbirth Plus that adds two new floors, some new characters, and a whole lot of other new stuff. It's just an insane mod. It was essentially the solution to having an alternate path before Repentance came along. And yeah, it's a great mod and it's finally been updated for Repentance. I do have to say a few caveats in installing this. I've had to uninstall a few of the mods just to make sure this works um because it, it came out just today so the compatibility is going to be a little iffy here and there but we're going to play this it's going to be exciting i'm really 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 happy to get in and try it out and it does work with like fiend folio and the like so we're going to jump in and we do have two new characters i don't have thumbnails ready for them yet but i'm going to give them a go anyways i'm sure you guys will be fine with a few episodes that don't have custom thumbnails so we're going to jump in as sarah here and just get ready for what we have to explore and enjoy. I'm uh, not quite sure exactly what we're going to end up seeing. I might as well uh, crack one of these open. Wasn't expecting to see a cracked key in my first room here, but I'll certainly accept it. Ooh, coming down mod. Yeah, so a few of the small quality of life mods I've removed. And unfortunately, we have lost Repentance Plus and Ipecac. I They just would not work for me at all. I couldn't. I tried. Anyways. Uh, we might notice some frame drops here and there, obviously. Ooh. Um, why can't we go in there now? Let me just... I know that I just used that red key, but let me just restart the run here. Because I was going to say that was open to start with, wasn't it? Okay. Intriguing. Okay. So we can go to either one of these. This is really cool looking. So I guess we go to this one, maybe? See where this takes us. This is definitely a little bit different to going to, like, the downpour. Although this did take us to the downpour. Okay, I'm going to have to play around with this a little bit. And see exactly how this works. Because this seems kind of interesting. And I want to I wanna try and experience everything we have here. So that's that's the downpour. And then this is... This is the new floor, I think. But we can go here straight away now. Is it a bad idea to go here straight away? Ooh, purgatory. Whoa, what the hell? I didn't read that. Okay. Um. Oh, God. Oh, enemy has a 7% chance to spawn a ghost that chases size and explodes. Uh, this chance is half for enemies spawned by other enemies. Plus two vanity. Uh, we've got the ice wraith here. A special chiller with spawns following you every room. I guess I'll give that a go. Oh, God. Okay, these these aren't, aren't good, are they? <laughs> I, for some reason, thought I should... Like, I don't know. Uh, what we got here? Rev enemies can now become... Oh, god damn. One of the slippies. Can now become champion boss. Oh, my god. Let's give it a go. Why not? I'm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna take all three of these. Probably an absolutely horrendous idea for our first uh, venture into this. But, yeah, this 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 mod and this, uh, this floor here, the glacier... It plays around a lot with um with with heat and like so you can you can get cold and freeze up and as you can see there there's cracks in the ice that you can fall into that's really cool and yeah you got to stay near the fires you can see there's a little, there's a little radius around the fires you've got to kind of stay near the fires to um to not get this frozen head effect here um now this room I'm not in I'm not entirely sure how we're gonna rid out okay I think we have to I see I see I think we have to stay near this boy. So this, um, this little fire thing here is gonna, oh god. So this dude in the middle, I see, I see, I see. Okay, we're probably gonna die here. Um, this little dude in the middle spews out these little fire things for us. And we can use those. Definitely a hard floor. I'm, I'm gonna play out the first floor before coming back to it maybe next time. So, yeah, one thing I did notice actually is we unlocked the ice tray. So if I go to this room and I, I complete it and then I come back in, does it lock it up? And I'll see about completing a full floor, but this is this is just me exploring at the moment. I've not really looked into this mod other than what I'm doing right now. Um, so it's definitely a bit new to me. Uh, I didn't really play much Revelations when it first came out either. It wasn't a it wasn't a mod that I uh, a mod that I played a lot of. I, I I definitely tried it out, but it's not something I played a ton of. Okay. So what the hell's this? Rubber bullets, uh, chance to fire bullets that inflict enemies with bruising. So that's an extra item, and 
I'm not quite sure why that dropped. And we've got the um, Waka Waka from Hub Room 2, which I'm not sure what that is. Um, all tiers in the room become fruits and you can be eaten to increase damage. That sounds kind of cool. Okay. Ooh, God. I walked right into that. We lost our eternal heart. Bugger. So, yeah, now this is closed up. So, basically, I'm guessing what that is, is if you choose to not go to the glacier, you, um, you can't go, like, you, you can't pick to go. But we're going to go down to the next floor and see if we get a choice on the next floor. But what I'm thinking there is, because we skipped it, that's why we got that additional item, I think, maybe? I, I'm really not sure. Well, this is all... Very new to me. I also don't really know how this character works. I didn't really, uh, I didn't really check how this character works. She's got some broken wings going on. I'm not quite sure what they, uh, what they are about. This rubber bullets thing seems pretty good. Especially when you fire three of them back to back like that. Decent. Pick up the health. Yeah, let's, let's, let's navigate to the next floor and just see if there's anything after the boss or anything. Otherwise, we can just restart and try again on the uh, the glacier floor. Because I do want to obviously try out the new floor. Now, I don't know how, um, how many episodes of Rev we're going to end up doing. At least early on. Just because, um, like I said, I don't have to disable some other mods. And I don't actually know at this point how much content's in it. It might be a ton. I th it's definitely a good amount. Obviously, there's all the unlocks for the new two new characters. There's the two new floors, and I think there's quite a few new items and things on top of that. Okay, I, I want to try and use this uh, Waka Waka fruit thing, but I've not had any enemies that shoot at me yet. Or really, shoot at me a lot, at least. Thank you. Getting the health there is lovely. Ooh, one of these guys has the, uh, the shielding effect on him, which doesn't help us at all. Which one of you is it? Okay, I think the shielding one died. Good, good. Yeah, that new champion can be quite a tricky bastard. I grab that. Hello, fella. Oh, this is definitely a harder boss for me. Okay, that was a really good bomb there. And we even got a barrel in there too. Ow. Okay, good, 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 good. We did really well on this fight so far. Still no wacka wacka usage here. Dude, just throw explosions at me. It's rude. Okay, we got him. He's going to suck up his fellas or detonate them. <laughs> and we got bacon grease. So, one thing I want to try. So, first of all, I want to see... Um, I was just about to say, see if going in here has anything different. Very much does indeed. Now, one thing I'm a little curious about is why does that trap door exist if this is here? I'm not entirely sure, but we can go down to the glacier from here. Oh, hello, sir. Oh, God, we still have these curses that we took from last time. Oh, no. Hello. Oh, you're, you're just going to point the way for us now, I think? Red health drains um, over time only last for the floor. So these are like challenges, I think. Um, the floor can become frozen. You now fall while standing on cracked ice. Frozen enemies can now move. Oh, God. And you lose a random item. That doesn't seem great. Yeah, I picked up these curses, and they've persisted onto the next run. But we got respawned for some reason. I'm going to be honest, I lack the intelligence to know what the hell's going on right now. Oh god, these, these rooms are tricky. And things are actually that hard, to be honest. I overestimated them. We get black card here. Um, I don't think we can do anything to blow up the ice apart from just bomb it. Oh, hello. What the hell? Okay, that's, that's kind of nice to be able to get some free shop items here and there. I like this little guy. I don't know what he's all about. Hey, they're really cool spikes. <laughs> the icy spikes. This guy's throwing rocks at us. Oh my goodness. <laughs> he's got a little butt as well. Oh my god. This is so exciting. Just discovering this mod. He's doing the slam attack. So I'm guessing I have to beat the floor with all of these curses on. 
to progress. Okay, we've got to stay near the fires to keep warm here. Nice. Oh, dude, you did like, like a little explosion there. I'm not, I think being in the fire neutralizes that little snake, dude. I think I can sort of stay away from his harmful rays. Oh, we got this guy. Oh, God, we've been frozen. Oh, my Lord. Stay away. I didn't want to spend that key, but the game, the game said it, so. Stop respawning things. Um... Oh, there you go. That's pretty cool. I was like, how the hell do I get across here? These guys... Oh, that's really cool. Like, set pieces to fill in the gaps. Also, we got a, a flame-headed dude over here. Not really... Still not really had anything to use our Wacker Wacker on yet. Okay, there you go. Finally got one. I, I don't know if I'm immune to contact damage at all during that. I don't think I am. Oh, God. I'm getting destroyed right now. This is all new to me. Okay, I've got to stay near the fire, dude, to, to melt my icy head. But it's not really melting it, though. It's really tricky. Um, I've got to like, stay near this guy, but I'm staying near him and it's not melting it. <laughs> I've got ice on my head. Could you please melt it for me? Why is it not melting? <laughs> I don't understand. Okay, there you go. I had to, like, release the fire inside him. I wonder what that thing's gonna do. So, oh my god, I, I keep forgetting that I need to stay in the radius of this little dude, otherwise I'll freeze over. Because it's in, like, we're in, like, a blizzard room right now. This is tricky. This is gonna be tough. Is this guy just... He ate my fire again. Okay, I've just gotta kill him to release the fire. I think it low lowers our fire rate as well while we're in that mode. Okay, nice. Okay, there's the mirror room. There is a, a secret mirror boss that you can challenge within this mod that's pretty insane. Take you on. I guess I'll do that. I can't remember exactly what to do with the mirror. I think... I think you bomb it, but I have a feeling that's wrong. Nope, you do bomb it. And we're here, and then I think we've got to bring something in here, right? Nope, no we do not. We have to fight ourselves, and he's throwing glass shards at me. There is no way I'm ready enough for this fight, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, I'm just discovering all of this and I'm having a blast. Oh yeah, I forgot this guy can use items. If you shoot at me, I'll whack a whacker him, I swear to god. And that's uh oh god damn. This is really cool. <laughs> I'm having so much fun. I'm, I think this bruising item that I've got is like helping an immense amount. I don't know if I actually hurt him then, but struck it on himself. Box of spiders? No thank you. Oh, he dropped a monster on me. Mirror bombs have been unlocked. We got the mirror shard. There you go. Um. Nice. Okay. We got that mirror shard. This room kind of changes after we leave it. Okay. Um. I, th I reckon we just go straight... I reckon we should go straight for the boss, but at the same time, I'm kind of curious to see what's on the rest of the floor. I'm curious to see how I revert these curses that I've imbued upon myself. I am curious. Right. Let's keep going. Like, <laughs> if I take these curses too, what happens then? Okay, this is tricky. A lot of little snowball enemies doing their thing. I love the uh, the doors. The cash room door there looks so good, and like the treasure room one did as well. We do have the ability to buy from the shop for free. Oh, this isn't a shop. <laughs> um, grants a blackout on use. Passively, da damage taken is doubled. That's an interesting one. 
a very interesting one. I think I'm going to take this for now and then maybe come back and get the other one because if you're getting a blackout every three rooms, you should be able to like offset the double damage, I think. Or I, I'd hope. Let's go see what this boss has in store for us here, shall we? Let's see what it has in store for us. Who are you? Oh, we got a narwhal. <laughs> he's chunky, I love him. Okay, so I'm guessing he's going to unfreeze these other enemies here. Oh, oh no, I, I can unfreeze them myself. I probably want to do that as early as possible, really. Um, oh, he spawned another little narwhal fella. Oh, he impaled him. Okay, wasn't quite expecting that. I'm guessing the idea with this... I was just about to say, I'm guessing the idea with this guy is he's going to slowly but surely reduce our amount of space that we can move. Although, I said slowly but surely, and it's it's been a little more very, very quickly. Okay, we got him. Die, horned fella. Oh, I love that with the with the uh, the body there. Arrow of light, um, increase knockback and grants piercing in darkness. Ooh, that's pretty cool. And you healed me, but we didn't get. Any items? You have a bloodied wing? Like I do? Hmm, I wonder if we had a bomb, if that would be... If there'd be anything interesting there. So from here we can go... To the downpour or to here. I really like the design of this room, by the way. This, that room looks really nice. Let's go get that, uh, that book. It's, it's a bit of a risk, but I'm, I'm willing to give it a go. And yeah, I'm wondering if now that I've completed this floor, it kind of purges those curses and I get a reward for uh, for playing the floor with them. I realize it was a very bad idea to take them early, but I genuinely did not expect that they'd carry through to an additional run. I thought you took them once and that's it, but that might just be that it's an error. Like it might not be supposed, it might not be supposed to uh, carry over. Right, let's take Book of Genesis here. Yeah, a black heart every three rooms. Basically, as long as we only get hit once every six rooms, it's going to be pretty decent, I think. And then obviously we've got the fact that we can find charges for it and stuff. It's probably a little bit risky, but I, I like the idea of the item too much to let it go. Uh, it's definitely the sort of thing I'd like to try out one second here. One second. Okay, we're good to go. Right, let's go down to, I'm imagining, the second floor of Glacier here. And I think the other floor is like the Catacombs or something along those lines. I can't remember. So we'll go down here. The Trap Door looks really cool as well. Yeah, Glacier 2. There's the Curse Door there. Um, so we haven't purged our Curse yet, which really scares me because um, I'm going to have all these new things coming at me and I'm taking double damage. So forgive me if I take a lot of damage here and die swiftly. This guy is uh, kind of insane. Oh, can you not freeze my head right now? I really like this enemy though. Really cool idea. I like kill the little things that he spawns and try and kill him as well. He's, he's been a real ass to kill though. <laughs> we painted the floor all multicolors here as well. I didn't even ask a question of the day, but for question of the day, what do you think of this mod? <laughs> it's the hot topic right now. What do you think of the mod? Oh, god damn. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, it's uh, Frozen Lust. Something I wasn't expecting to see. Very happy to see it, though. This is kind of a tricky one, because we've got to stay near the fires. I really like the, uh, the mechanics of, like, having to play around the fires. Also, the music is uh, quite something. Nice. Right, this is this has been scary. 
I'm enjoying it. I'm definitely going to have to tweak around my mod list. I'm still getting a bit of frames, but I kind of expected it. Revelations was always a mod that would add some frame rate issues just because of the sheer size of it, adding two extra floors. But I'll just have to play around my mod list to try and get something that's a little more acceptable maybe for it. I don't know. We'll see. I don't want to disable too much, Jack. But I might uh, retire a few mods that I, that I keep in my normal list just while we play Revelations for a bit and then we can hop back to the regular series. I don't know. We'll see how we end up, how much we end up liking this and how much we end up wanting, wanting more of it. I'm sure you guys will uh, want plenty of it to start with. Okay. Oh god, he throws me. <laughs> the charging pig. The animations on that dude. They're amazing. Holy, I'm always giving mad respect for people's animation skills. Some of them are just fantastic. Yeah, this guy froze me again. I, I really wasn't paying attention to where the um, the frozen boy was. Yeah, there was absolutely no way I wasn't getting hit there. We lost all three of our black hearts. Why did we lose three? What is going on right now? What are these little... What are these little jerkers? <laughs> Who are they? Oh, God. Yeah, for, for one, I have absolutely zero clue. Zero clue what the hell Sarah does so far. Um, well, I think we found out one thing that she does. I have three black hearts now. Is that intentional? And then I lost them all. Okay. That's rather intriguing. Our black hearts become these little dashing wispy dudes that can hurt us. Okay, don't take black hearts as this character. We have learnt this today. And then they reabsorb. Hmm. Wasn't that intriguing? Isn't that intriguing indeed? Also, something I didn't mention, patch 1.79, I think it is, came out today too, which buffed a bunch of really underwhelming items in um, in the game. Like My Shadow, Shade, um, Breath of Life, whatever it's called, all those got buffs. It was really cool. Lots of, lots of good changes. Verp, verp. Verp, verp, my verp, verp. Right. Yeah, so Black Hearts maybe might not be the players this character, because they turn into these little evil things that hurt me. <laughs> I don't know if I can deal with that. But that's 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 pretty cool though. Okay. Take you out, sir. Take you out, sir. Right, keep pushing forward. Definitely going to be quite a lot of hot... Wow. <laughs> Instantly. Definitely going to be a lot of hot restarting early on here. Okay, so then little dudes definitely can deal damage to enemies. So they do have offensive capabilities as well. But I'm pretty sure they can also hurt me from what I saw last time. Yep, they definitely can. Which is very worrying. I'm guessing we just don't ever want black hearts, but... I started with them though. Like I, I I didn't want the black arts here, but I just kinda had them also. Piss monster. Interesting little champion here. This seems to be one of the champions from the more champions mod. Um because it doesn't have like bespoke sprites. I am getting wrecked right now. Okay, these little black heart buggers. <laughs> So what happens if I restart again now? Do I have the three black hearts? Oh no. I always have these black hearts. Okay, so let's have a look. So these are my sins here. I've got to go here and cleanse them. Okay, so I have to make it to an angel deal. We got the ice cube tray. Um, fires ice cubes that slide on the ground. Ice cubes leave creep. Oh, oh that's pretty cool. Hey, that's really cool. I wonder why that's only a, a quality one. This seems really good. Hey, as if we got this item straight off the bat here. We unlocked it and then got it straight away. I love that. 
really enjoying this so far. A whole, whole heap. Okay, lots of these dudes that are going to charge me down. Just stay the hell out of their way. They'll do their own thing, the little carrots, whatever you want to call them. Yeah, I, I love this item. Okay, we got normal horseman here. Just a regular old guy. Shouldn't be too hard. I like the way they kind of skip around. Obviously, they're not very good for enemies that fly right now. No! My sins have escaped! Oh my goodness! Okay, f f I mean they're yellow now for some reason. I'm not quite sure what happened there. Um, this is going to be a very, very hard character. I made a huge mistake picking up so many black hearts. I didn't know. I was not ready. I was very ill prepared. <laughs> this is awesome. This is such a, a unique character idea. They've got all like... Purge and cleanse. I don't know if it's all soul heart health or if it's just uh, black hearts. I'm imagining it's just black hearts. Oh my god, I'm gonna die again. <laughs> Holy shit. No, no, no. I want to cleanse. Let me cleanse. Cube of meat. Thank you. So I think basically the, the reason there's that shortcut is like... If you want to skip straight to the next floor without taking the item from the first floor, you can. Or you can do it this way. Obviously, I think everyone's going to always go this way. But you have the option, which is kind of nice. These curses still haven't gone away either. <laughs> How do I cleanse these? I don't even know. You fired out a purgatory wisp as well. God damn, this is this is an absolute struggle bus right now. Oh, that time, my black heart got hurt normally. I wonder what the distinction is there. Why not? <laughs> At this stage, why not? Oh god. Our heads turned into a block of piss. I don't know what any of these curse things do, but take them all and deal with the consequences later. I kind of like the fact that there's frozen enemies you don't have to kill to complete the room. Oh god, those pickups dis disappearing. They disappear fast. Why is everything turning yellow? I'm not quite sure what's going on with that. God damn. En enter a room, things just disappear on us. Oh no, I needed that red heart. <laughs> you troll of a game. Okay, so, I see. So we, we, we block off the enemy, and it spawns a bunch of new fires. Got you. And it keeps these guys floating around. Good, good. These can't hurt us, can they? No. Didn't think so. We are taking a hell of a lot of red heart damage right now. Can't even get fucking close to this dude. Stop running away from me, you shit. <laughs> The, the pickup disappears before it even spawns. That's kind of unfair. I've turned into a piss head again. Oh, no. The black hearts are free. We are going to die. The piss ghosts are after me. There's a purgatory. God damn it. Holy, okay. I... Oh. Oh, God. What's happened here? Um, Not quite sure what that was. 
It's a creation. Ooh, the costume for this creation is really cool. Okay, I might have made the uh, the new floor a hell of a lot harder for myself if the, if those curse things are gonna persist every single time, but eh. <laughs> I'll find out after. I'll find out after if I screwed myself entirely. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> okay. I like these little baby dudes. The baby dudes are pretty cute. Okay. Take you out. Bat wings kind of decent. I'll take it. This room not so decent. Kaboom! Oh, not quite got them all, but very close. Secretion should help us out here, though. Certainly. It's quite a lot of extra damage and creep. All good stuff. Okay, lots of jumpies. It shouldn't be too bad. And time for the boss. Not a great boss for us here. Actually, it's not too bad. He does he does take creep damage, which is proving to be very effective. Didn't quite manage to get away from him there. There you go. Wasn't so bad. Get pageant boy. And back down and see if all of those curses stack up on us. Because if they do, I am screwed. <laughs> oh, they do. They do. Um... I yeah, I'm not entirely sure how to cleanse these. Um, prank can appear in glacier rooms. Prank will taunt you, throw snowballs at you, steal pickups. Only lasts the floor. It says only lasts the floor. You take full hearts of damage. It might be a bug that I'm keeping them, to be honest. A very, very cruel bug, but <laughs> it might well be a bug. Oh, dude. You've, um... The thingy headed me. Why does everything keep turning yellow? I'm so confused by everything. Even I keep turning yellow. Okay. Use secretion while... Uh, secretion doesn't work while I've got a blockhead. I thought it did. Stay near the fire here. God damn, there's a lot of tears hovering around right now. Y'all need to put those down. Arcade's looking rather cozy here. Oh my god. What we got here? Strength? That could be a boss killer right there. But getting to the boss is a whole nother story, to be honest. Okay, I was just about to say, how did he get over here? But he can destroy blocks, good. Oh no, I put out the fire. I didn't mean to do that. For some reason, I just kind of expected that you couldn't, but that wouldn't make sense either, really. Tinted rock. Huzzah. We got a secret room and everything. We lost a bunch of rune shards. Anzus is rather nice. Northern Lion, um, Keeper, keep me safe. Bless me. Bless this run. Okay, these two are champions, which definitely scares me. I don't really get these enemies. They just kind of puke up a lot of shots that get stuck to stuff. I guess it makes sense. Yeah, <laughs> the pickups disappearing is ridiculous. Just like, and the gun. Okay, regular secret room now. Little spider there. Sadly, nothing much for us here. Right, item room is coming up. Look, this time, luckily, we don't have any black hearts bothering us, which is nice. Yeah. Got them. 
Lil Dumpy. Lil Dumpy did receive a nerf in the most recent patch, but he's still very good. Basically, now, if a shot goes near him, he can also activate on that. It's not just on hit now. Which makes him not quite as good, but still very good. Okay, there's a black heart there. Like, I kind of do want to pick it up, because there's only one. And I want to see what happens if I sacrifice them. That became a black heart as well. I'm just going to do it. It's a bad idea, I've realized. Oop, another boss. Oh, he's healing up. Oh, he's become something. Oh, hello. That's a cool attack. And they all turn towards me and they become little bulbous shots there. Okay, little Dumpy is activated. Okay, there's another one of him now. Wasn't expecting that. Certainly a difficult boss, but really, really well designed. The bosses go hard in this mod. Okay, I kind of had a feeling I was going to get hit there, which definitely scares me because I now have my uh, my ghosty boys to deal with, which I am not best pleased about. Okay, this has got some challenge aspects to it as well. I wasn't expecting. I keep accidentally going for the wrong one as well. Okay, I think I got him. Um... Okay, the black hearts return to me. I get this, which is decent. Golden pickup is also nice. Golden thingy. I don't. Should not show sure why the decor changed. Right. Okay. The risk is worth the reward. We get ourselves holy water, and damage up. Damage is reduced by 0.6 per floor until the effect is nullified. Okay, that's 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 gonna help out quite a lot. Um, a golden pill. We'll, we'll, we'll take the risk, I guess. Spider unboxing. Okay. Wasn't really much of a risk, to be honest. We didn't get much out of that. Uh, okay. And we don't want to go to either of those, so let's go down here. Scary times, but that's a really, really cool mechanic for how you get your items. We've got this guy again. I'll, uh, I guess I've, this is kind of like an escort mission with this guy. He shows me the way towards the boss. I just, I don't care about my item room. I don't care about nothing. I just want to get this floor over and done with so that I can see if I can purge these curses from this floor. Got a webbed heart, which is decent. I did find our item room. Oh, and we got the parasite as well. Very nice. This is our best run yet to actually succeed here, I think. Don't forget that we've got secre Ooh, secretion synergizes with parasite. Now that's huge. Also, holy water is not super super good for us, but pretty nice. All right, we don't have any black. Um, we don't have any black hearts dealing. Oh, dude, I did not see that. Also, the webbed heart gave us the golden spiders. Nice, because it was a golden webbed heart. Okay, so this one is actually one where fire matters. Honestly, secretion's going to be insane right now. Oh god, wasn't expecting that. Okay, this guy is seems to be helping me during combat. He, he, I think he froze that guy for me. Oh, bloody bomb. Okay, this is this is a little tricky. Okay, we got him, we got him, we got him. Holy, we get Synthoil. And we go to the next floor. Will this purge these curses from this floor in the future? Who knows? <laughs> They're not on this floor, at least. We can say that for sure. So I'm not exactly sure how we get to the next, like the, the the catacombs, is it called? I don't know where that is. Our dude uh, left us. I don't know where he went. 
Uh, is this guy just... Okay, I guess I, I thought he was glitched then. Thank you, little Dumpy. Yeah, you'll definitely see little Dumpy activate more than he normally would. Intruder's really good here. Pop up on a shoppy. That's decent enough to take, you know. It's just free money. As long as we're patient, it's all the free money we could want. Too bad we don't have that item where we get, like, piercing during the dark. Because <laughs> then we could just keep it dark all the time and get piercing for free. Right, I'm just going to get back up to 15, and then I'm going to stop spamming it until we need it. There you go. Right. Check down here. Ah, I'm not doing all that for forever alone, I'm sorry. <laughs> that is too much, like, hard work right there. Why is the cube leaving piss on the floor? What's going on there? Okay. Not too bad. Parasite is helping a ton. So much spread shot and split shot, it's beautiful. We got the bat dude. Fiend Folio and Revelations working in tandem. Isn't it beautiful, people? Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, nice. We did get a black heart here, so we can take that in here and sacrifice it for a potential item, right? Oh, it requires two. Okay. Like, I'm just going to see what happens if I bomb you. Nothing good. <laughs> I knew it was going to be bad just because we're meant to be, like, on the angel's side. But I had to try it. Also, the demons have become piss again. I'm not quite sure what's going on with that. We do get our key pieces still, though. And that returns the Black Hearts to us for the next floor. Okay. I just want to quickly bomb this open to see if the, um... The option to go to the other floor is here. Here it is. Yep. Here it is. Okay. Down to the catacombs. Or the tomb, even. The tomb. I got it all wrong. Okay, now this floor is... Reminds me of, like... Ooh, there's, like, little traps in the wall. This floor very much reminds me of, like, the mausoleum. It's got a lot of traps, and it's kind of got that same sort of hidden away area vibe to it. Also, we've got some perkies in here, which is pretty cool. I'm glad we got our footing eventually. Is this thing gonna die? Okay, it is, eventually. Hey, I will not be sad about rotten meat. We've got a very big mini boss room in here. Okay. I don't know what the middle dude does. That's, that's a lot of dung right there. He is riding the dung. Oh God. No! You've summoned the beasts! Get down off your turd, sir. Get down off your turd. Okay, we got him. Um, we don't have any bombs. We can't get over there. Also, what's this dude in the middle doing? I don't know. <laughs> I rightfully don't know. Okay, we got more of these things going on in here. I'm not touching them this time. I don't know what they do. and They, they, they just... They didn't give me a reward, and it just seemed evil. Are these little turtle things, I think they're just traps. If we get near them, they, like, activate. I 
pretty cool. Oh, okay, they're doing stuff. They're throwing themselves around. Okay, we can do both of these. Well, there you go. Ooh, we got a... Uh, what seems to be item here. Tummy bug. Isaac sometimes stops firing, followed by a brief charge. When charge release, his spray tears at a high arc. Sounds interesting. Kind of like a kidney stone type deal. Um, grants a random retribution familiar at the start. Oh, nice. Got the little axolotl to start with here. Okay, so I see there's the symbols on the floor there, which are like the traps. Be careful of them. Oh, hey, little fella. Little cactus guy here. Here's our mirror room again. We don't have a bomb to uh, sort that out right now. Let's not worry about that too much for now. I think that's a, a mystery for later down the line. That's a lot of locusts right there. I think they're locusts at least, like a plague of locusts, right? Makes sense. Oh, we get a random one every room. I thought it said every floor. Okay, we're holding this charge right now. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, I see. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Whoa, look at this boss. This is cool. Okay, so we can jump into the pit. He seems quite hard to fight. Oh, no. I, no. He's going to kill me. I have no idea how much health I have left, but it's not a lot. I can't, I can't even shoot him. <laughs> this is really cool. How the fuck do I hit this guy? And why is everything yellow? <laughs> I have no idea what's going on right now. Oh, dude. I've got, I'm supposed to jump over the brimstone, I see. There's no way I'm living through this boss fight. No! There you go, I'm dead. That is an insanely hard fight. Wow. Anyways, we're going to leave it off there for the first episode. That was a lot of fun. That was a lot and a lot of fun. I'm going to try and fix my mod list a little bit, just to trim it down so we can play this series. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you all in the next one.